What is up, my friends? It is Monday night, and I tend to go live on Monday nights. You know why? Because I have a team Zoom that I do every Monday, and I get so fired up after our team Zooms. I'm like, <gasps> I'm like overflowing. I have to come on here. <laughs> um, we just had an incredible team Zoom, uh, team Zoom, and um, I had a guest trainer on our Zoom, uh, a actually a new promoter on our team, and she just freaking crushed it, um, and it just fired me up. I was so inspired. I'm like over, overflowing. Like, you know how like when your cup just gets super overflowing and overfilled, and you have to come out and just share it? Uh, so anyway, so let me know if you're catching me live. I would love to know if you are on here live. I know that most of you guys will catch on replay, so just comment below if you um, are catching my replay. And if you are new to watching my videos, just type new below. I would love to know like if you're just discovering me or just finding me or just recently we connected um, Let me know that too. So what I want to share with you guys is first of all, thank you for attending my TED talk <laughs> because I'm on a little bit of a soapbox um, So I actually earlier this afternoon I watched a video I'm not gonna name names to protect the innocent, but I watched a video that y'all like I okay I tend to give people a lot of grace in terms of, oh, surely they didn't mean it like that. Oh, surely that person's not being really terrible. I am that person, right? I'm usually the person who um, I believe the best in situations. I believe the best in people. Uh, and I was literally watching this entire video thinking, surely that's not what they mean. Surely they're not saying what they're, saying this person um came on and did a video it was a facebook live um they did a video and they <laughs> it was a so it was a, a training video for like for network marketers for direct sellers and, and really just actually for all entrepreneurs but they basically came on this video and they said and i paraphrase um now that people are getting their stimulus bonuses like from the government they're gonna have more money to buy your products and so now is the time to hit them up before they spend their stimulus money on rent and groceries and all of their other things listen listen y'all i always believe the best in people um and i try really really hard to believe the best in people and so i watched the entire video and i watched the entire video thinking i'm sure there's gonna be like a punchline in here somewhere <laughs> Like it was that kind of like awkwardness. Um, and I think I knew what they were trying to say. I really hope, I hope I know what they were trying to say, but God, you guys. Okay. So here's what I want to share with you guys about how to show up <laughs> and grow your business. Like right now, our business is growing. Like we are, our business, our, our company, um, it's growing now it's a hundred percent online okay so that's a plus it is a health and wellness company okay that's a plus but y'all there are a lot of you guys in network marketing right now who are in various different companies and y'all have shared with me that y'all's businesses are growing okay and some won't some will and i think it has to do with how you're showing up um i know that one of the main reasons that i my business my personal business our team um, our company, we, we tend to grow um, despite weird, you know, fluctuations in the economy or stuff like that. I think it, I don't, I don't think it has to do with special guru, tri you know, skills and all that kind of stuff. I think a lot of it has to do with the way that you show up. So I want to give you guys just some tips about my kind of MO, like what I do, how I show up, that kind of stuff, um, what not to do. And I will just say like, if that person happens to be watching that did that terrible, horrible, awful video, <laughs> look, I, I love people, okay? Um, you gotta love people where they're at. One of the things that I always say is hurting people hurt people. Okay, so people who have like um, a scarcity mindset, um, maybe they're in a place where their income is none. Um, maybe they're in a terrible position, like emotionally, spiritually, financially, all of those things, right? Like we all go through funk. Um, and I get that, <clears throat> but this, this prompted me to make this video because you are probably, if you're not already, you're going to go through some stuff. You're going to go through funk periods of time where you 
like it's enough to like even just get out of bed in the morning right and then you feel like what in the actual heck am i gonna do for the next 18 hours of my life <laughs> today um before i can go back to bed without biting someone's head off i just feel like in a really bad mood i um i'm not solid i'm i'm scared i'm anxious i'm worried i'm you know all of those things and here's the thing like you i try to give people grace knowing that um Hey, Laura. Hey, Vicki. Um, I try to give people grace enough to know that if someone is lashing out, you know, privately, maybe they're biting your head off <laughs> in a private message that happened recently. And I'm like, uh, dude, back up. Like that, that, that was not the issue. Like I could just tell the person was biting my head off in a private message because they were hurting. It had nothing to do with me. I knew that right away. I knew the situation this person was in. I was like, oh, this has nothing to do with me. So you gotta love people and really give them grace and know like, you know, sometimes people are just going through crap, right? Hurting people hurt people. On the same note though, some people do it in public and I'm like, okay, so I'm not gonna name names, but I'm just gonna say, um, I, I was watching this video and this person was, thank you very much, Michael, for that. Um, so this person was doing this video and I think what they were trying to say is that, um, if you have a product to offer, if you have a business that could be a solution for people or a product that could be a solution for people, maybe instead of shrinking back down, thinking that you shouldn't step up to the plate, you shouldn't be growing your business because it's bad, you know, bad timing, or maybe um, I've heard from some people that they just feel, they feel, feel bad for being successful. And I know that sounds really weird, but some people have it kind of twisted in their mindset that if their business is growing and doing well, and if they're building and they're like, okay, duh, I know what's going on in the world, hello, but but that's not gonna stop me from growing my business and and because I believe in what I do. Like if you are willing to stop promoting the product that you're a rep for, if you're willing to stop helping people get started in your business because of what's going on if something you can't control then did you even really like your product and believe in it or believe in your business enough anyway that's uh, okay let's take this soapbox okay because here's the thing i personally if you if you love your product and you believe in it and you believe that it can help other people your product or your service or your business opportunity why in the world would you stop promoting it for, well, for any reason, quite frankly, if the product you like works and the service works and the business opportunity can break doors down <laughs> and create freedom for people, why now would you stop? Why? A lot of times, I'll tell you why, a lot of people stop doing that because their own internal baggage, either voices in their head or someone somewhere has told them something that it's inappropriate or it's not, they're, they're trying to make you shrink down and be small like they are. Like our team is called the BOOM team, okay? It's an acronym, BOOM, B-O-O-M. It stands for break out of mediocrity. Most people are living in mediocre land, okay? Most people, when the economy tanks, they tank. When the economy rises, they rise. When business is good, they're good. When business is bad, they're bad. Like, they are literally riding that roller coaster. What I want to hopefully encourage and inspire you guys to do, whether you're on my team or not, whether you're in a network marketing company or not, you need to set the temperature, okay? You are the one who gets to show up and be an influence. We need you. We need you to show up and be an influencer in the space. Whether you like it or not, thank you, Brian. You guys, if you share this, let me know. I would love to give you a shout out too. Um, and if you're just tuning in, thank you for attending my TED Talk. I'm on a little bit of a tangent because seriously, like somebody needs to fix this. <laughs> If you're on social media, you guys, which you should be, okay, that's the first thing is that if you are in business, you really need to be showing up on social media now more than ever. Now more than ever, people are on here and watching. People are watching. More messages are coming into my inbox. More people are watching videos, whether it's on replay or live. More people are scrolling and seeing and they know. Like even if they don't like or comment on the stuff, they're referring to it when I'm in their inbox, right? Like if you message me 
I'm going to reply to you. I don't send cold messages or whatever, but if you send me a message, I'm going to reply back and odds are we'll probably have a conversation that you remember seeing a post about, even if you didn't like or comment, you guys, you have to show up right now. So if you're showing up, this is for you. This little tangent that I'm on, my little TED talk right now is for you. Okay. You're showing up. Okay. You're probably posting something on social media. If you do, you have two choices. It's like, which lion are you going to feed? Right? Which wolf are you going to feed? Right? <laughs> that, that poor tiger. Y'all did the tiger really get diagnosed with COVID? I'm just saying like, fix it, Jesus. Right? Like it, we just saw a whole viral phenomenon of this whatever show the tiger king and it went crazy all over everybody's facebook and now all of a sudden the tiger has what is happening okay so the we're not feeding the one of two tigers we're feeding the one or two wolves right the good wolf or the bad wolf you always have a choice you're showing up on social media right now in one of two ways. You're showing up and you're provoking fear, you're provo provoking scarcity, you're provoking lack, you're provoking anxiety, you're provoking worry, enough of the garbage that people already have in their life. You're literally stoking that fire, okay? Not saying it's right or wrong, that's what you're choosing to do. Maybe you get lots of engagement by stoking that fire and you use it in the name of education, but in reality, a lot of people are already wound up so freaking tight already because of everything they all have in their life right now, the last thing they really need, maybe they want the drama and the OMGs and the negativity. Some people want that because um, it's almost like a drug for some people. Some people, what they need most is they need you to breathe life. They need you to tell them how to show up on social media and still grow their business. They need you to inspire them to get up and be creative. They need you to inspire them of, hey, here's a great quote that I saw that you can take to heart today. Hey, here's something that I read in this book today that's gonna inspire you and uplift you. Hey, here's something fun that I know how to do. I made a new recipe, I learned a new skill. Laugh at me doing this. They need you to show up like a friend. They don't need you to show up like the news reporters on CNN or worse, okay? So you have one of two options to show up. You do have to show up, be bold. But I would challenge you to when you show up and you're bold, be a light. Be a light in a dark time, okay? Now I'm not, here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying, don't post your beliefs. Don't post like if you think that there's a lot of people who have like conspiracy theories and all that kind of stuff. I want you to show up boldly um, and talking about those things, but there is a way to say it. So like this person that I watched their video when they were like, y'all, you need to sell people your product while they still have their stimulus money before they spend it all on their rent and, and food. <laughs> literally what this word was literally what they said um so uh, it's the way that you come across right the way that you're saying it yes show up but you can express information you can share education you can create conversations without coming across and provoking fear and worry and anxiety and enough of the garbage that people already have you have to think about this right now more than ever people are on social media looking for connection okay so if people are looking to you for connection what are they connecting with you about now i did see someone who made a great point okay great point again i try to see the best in all all of it um a great point was made, well, if they don't like me because of what I post that's you know negative and fearful and whatever, if they don't like me because of what I post, I don't wanna do business with them anyway. I wanna, I wanna attract like-minded individuals. Okay, fair enough. However, let me challenge you to consider what if people who didn't necessarily think exactly like you wanted to join or be a part of your network or come, you know, collaborate with you or whatever, maybe they don't necessarily have to think exactly like you to think like you. Do you know what I'm saying? When you get out of here and you get into here, 
There are a lot of people I love. I'm friends with a lot of you guys that are watching. We don't have the same beliefs. We don't have the same political views. We don't have the same demographic, the same background. Like a lot of us have opposing, like opposing views. But I respect them and they respect me and we can go along and actually do business together and collaborate and be friends and actually have a conversation. So why would you do something that if, if you've got a bigger picture, like I, I'm a romantic, so I kind of look at everything, right? Like, a, like the big grand scheme of life. <clears throat> if, if what I'm doing can breathe life into somebody, if what I'm saying can like help people chill their nerves, it's all going to be fine. God's got you. <laughs> if you think for one second God doesn't know what's going on and have this entire crazy globe in the palm of his hands and he knows exactly what's happening at every single moment, he knows every single one of you and every hair on your head and every breath that you're going to take and every word that you're going to say and every thought that you're going to have. If you don't think for one second he knows exactly what's going on and he's got it, that that could be your view, okay? But y'all, my role, when, if I'm going to have a platform, I'm going to use it for good. I'm going to use this for good. I'm going to show up. The fact that y'all are on here, the fact that you watch my videos at all, the fact that you even come to my Facebook page at all, means that I have been given a platform. Now, it's my choice of how I show up on that platform. I want to show up to have you guys, when you end this video, feel like, yes, this is all going to be fine. God's got this, whatever you believe. There's something at work here. It's temporary, pain is temporary. This craziness is temporary. What matters is we're all here. Everything's under control. Breathe in, breathe out, serve someone, say your gratitudes. You guys, if you pray, pray, do that. If you need to write out gratitudes and affirmations and speak things into the universe, do that. Right now, more than anything though, you need to be bold and you need to show up, but you have a choice of the way that you do that. You can do it to distract and cause chaos and cause division, or you can show up and be a light and be a community maker, be a life breather. You have to show up in a way and use this platform for good, but do not let other people make you shrink down and be so small that you disappear because that's mediocrity and that's what the media wants you to do. That's what everybody who's on the scarcity mindset wants you to do. They want you to shrink down, be scared, be small. Yeah, you got to stay inside, but you don't have to stay inside. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't, you have to be inside your house, but you don't have to be inside yourself. You can speak life and you can reach thousands, millions of people with your heart and your kindness and your integrity and your passion and your enthusiasm. And you can make a huge giant difference from this social platform that you've been given. So I encourage you guys pour into yourselves so much that you come on here like overflowing and bursting that so much so that you got to stand up on that soapbox and you have to talk to people. <laughs> That's, I want you guys to do that. You have to continue to fill up your own cup. So show up, be bold. I'm going to give you guys a couple of tools, okay? Um, I, hopefully this isn't backward, it's backwards. This is called High Performance Habits. This is a book that I'm diving into right now. It's by Brendan Burchard, High Performance Habits. Um, I actually think if you go look for him, he actually has this for free on um, an Audible. You can listen to it for free. It's like a real actual book. There's no pictures or what? Like it's thick, <laughs> uh, thick with two C's as we like to say. Anyways, it's a really, really good book. Basically, this is like how to show up with passion, how to show up with integrity, um, how to become extraordinary. I love that. Like, like I said, our team name is boom. It's break out of mediocrity, how to show up in an extraordinary, not mediocre way. The other thing, um, here's another, if y'all watch my stories at all, you've probably seen me post about this one. Um, this is a daily devotional that I love, totally love it. Um, it is Christian based, but I actually have a lot of non-Christian friends who love this book. This is a daily devotional, it's called Until Today. Um, you can get it on Amazon, it's daily devotions for spiritual growth and peace of mind. Peace of mind, P 
peace of mind. You guys, this is just one of those things where make it a habit. You need to have morning rituals, like morning routines. Um, hopefully you have something like that. Like right when you wake up, you need to have like a set routine in your life, especially right now in times of chaos, in times of stress, in times of anxiety wake up, create a morning routine. I love waking up. I take my supplements. I have some water. Um, I actually sit here with my husband in the den. Um, we chat. Then I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta get up and do things. <laughs> That's my thing. I like, we both work from home. He's retired. I work online. I do all that. I'm like, it's really easy to like, just sit here and just, you know, hang out all day. I'm like, I, I gotta do things. Okay. Like you're cute, but you gotta go. I gotta do things. Um, so I like to open up my daily devotional. This one is until today. I also have this one. A lot of you guys probably have this too. Um, this is Jesus calling again. It's, you have to listen, like, I believe in Jesus. I'm a born again Christian. Uh, I ain't afraid to say that. But um, there are a lot of daily devotionals for all walks of life, all faiths, all beliefs, all backgrounds. Find something that resonates with you. Here's the thing that um, I will say about pretty much anything. Whatever you will do consistently and actually do, that's what you need to do. Don't just like, oh, well, Laura said to buy this, so I have to buy it. No. Do go and get into the routine or the daily devotionals or the personal development books or whatever that you'll actually stick to because that's when it makes the most difference. It will not make a difference if you're working on your personal development or fitness or diet if you're inconsistent, if you don't show up for yourself every single day, right? So show up for yourself every single day, pour into yourself. The other thing that's actually very new to me <laughs> is I'm actually trying really hard. I'm really trying really, really hard to actually read books that aren't business related. I know that sounds really dumb. Um, it actually does sound really dumb, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> like out loud. Anyway, so I, cause I, I love business books. I love personal development. I love business training. I, I love all that stuff. Um, so outside of the daily, like personal development, daily devotionals and the business, personal development books, um, try to read something just for pleasure, literally just for pleasure. So whether it's a romance novel, um, I love those, or um, this one, my husband actually got me into, this is actually like a whole series. It's on apocalyptic, like survival, prepping, apocalyptic, the world is coming to an end, what do you do now, oh crap, kind of books. They're so good. And I'm not, not just doing like this craziness. Try to read something that's, entertainment, something where you can like flip the switch in your brain, right? To just relax, calm your mind, turn off the news, shut off your phone, like give yourself like 30 minutes or an hour to just be and chill, right? Um, so this one, his name is Franklin Horton. We're really liking this book. It's actually like nine series. This is the second one. Um, the first book is called The Borrowed World. Um, it's really, it's actually really good. He writes it in like a young adult type style. It does have the occasional F-bomb. So if you're offended by that, um, that's probably not for you. It's, it, occasionally, like it's not every other word, but um, anyway, so it's really good. So I just want to encourage you guys, you have, you have to show up, don't shrink. But the way that you show up, show up and be a light, show up and be positive, show up and it doesn't have to be rainbows and sunshine and unicorns all the time. But it does need to be in a way where if you're going to start conversations and you're going to have discussions that are um, of a negative nature, it's all in the way you phrase it, right? So it's the way you show up. The way you show up is how, like, how you do anything is how you do everything, right? I really believe that now more than ever, people just need a connection. We need to be chatting about books. We need to be helping each other. We need to be breathing life into each other. We need to be pouring into each other and getting on Zooms and getting on face-to-face -face and show up on video and let people see you, that you're alive and you're well and that it's okay. It's okay to be nervous and scared and worried and mad and ticked off and confused. That's okay. But it's not okay to be a virus and try to, because you feel a certain way, spread that out onto others just because misery loves company. That's, I guess, what I'm mostly trying to say. So if you're gonna spread anything, spread kindness, spread positivity, spread conversation, but do it in a way that is um, breathing life into others and not trying to cause other people to stumble, to, to worry too, to get madder or, or angrier or rallying and all that kind of stuff. Like if you're gonna rally for a cause, rally for a cause. 
but do it for a good reason. All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like my videos, click the dots at the top and click um, turn on notifications. You can do that. That's always an option. So you'll get notified when I go live. If you caught me on replay, let me know. And if you got value from this, hit the share button and let me know that too. So I can send you a thank you. I love you. I appreciate you guys. Hope you guys are well. Stay inside, but don't stay inside. Get out there. All right, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Talk to you soon.